Hello, hello, hello. I wanna show you something really cool. Uh, I've been sitting on this for a few weeks just cause I haven't had a chance to do a video, but I have Grossbeat working in both Machine and in Ableton 10. And I found out for 13 bucks, really cheap way to uh, to make this work. And you know, people are always trying to find alternatives to gross beat for a Mac. And I saw somebody running on a Mac uh, within Ableton. It was like, maybe it was lunging on the beat. I don't, somebody. And I said, well, there must be a way to do this. So I figured it out and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. All you need to do is spend uh, 13 bucks for a program I'm gonna show you uh, to act as sort of like the bridge between your 64-bit uh, Ableton and your 32-bit VST, which is gross beat. And that's the issue. That's why you can't get these generally to work together is because you've got these programs that you're using like machine or Ableton and they're only capable now of using 64-bit hosts because it's a 64-bit program and this is a little too technical for me, but you need to somehow create a bridge so you, they can use the 32-bit uh, host. And that's what we're gonna do here. So let's hop behind the computer and I'll show you what's going on. And you can be using Grossbeat before you know it. You're gonna go to this website. It's for a, a software program called JBridge M. And all the links are below, so click below and put them there, making it easy. Let's run through this fast because it's pretty straightforward once you know what to do. You're gonna go download this program. It's like 13 bucks. It's on, uh, you can just pay with PayPal. This guy wrote this program so that, like I said, you can run a 32-bit uh, VST inside a 64-bit host, which is what our issue is here. We wanna run this inside of Ableton. So you're gonna download this program, you're gonna install it. You're going to restart your computer after you install it. That's very important, don't forget to do that. Then you're gonna go over to ImageLine, which is where FL Studio is, that's the parent company, and you're gonna get yourself an account. It's free, just give them your email, get yourself an account. Then you're gonna hop into the forums and you're gonna go right here to find the native OSX VST plugins. It's the suite of plugins that they put out for Mac and you actually can just download this for free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to have a FL Studio product or anything. I really don't understand it. I don't get it. I, I would have paid, I'm sure, um, but you just download this. You're gonna install all of these VSTs as you normally would install plugins uh, on your computer that I'm sure you're watching this video probably know how to do that already, so I don't need to tell you how to do that. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna run the JM Bridge, I always say J Bridge M, I say it backwards. You're gonna run that program and then it's gonna give you options in terms of like if you want to what VSTs you want to use that you want to be able to use. So I don't, I've already done it, so I'm not, I can't like go through and do it again, but if you have any issues, all the links are on this guy's JBridge M website, troubleshooting if you have issues, he walks you through absolutely everything you need to do to be able to uh, uh, run his program and install the VSTs, the 32-bit VSTs that you need to. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna install those VSTs in a different place for you. They're gonna be installed in a separate area. Um, I don't know how it all works, but basically then what happens is you open live and you're able to choose these. You can see over here, user, and these are my, this is what it did. It just, it, it, it created this bridge and it, it installed these plugins here. So they're under like a different dropdown. Um, I guess it's just where they installed them. So just to give you an idea, uh, I'll take this off of here. So you can see I have Keyscape open. So just ran something quick. And let's put Gross Beat on here. Like how cool is that? Just open it, no issues. Let's pick a pattern. Easy, how easy is that? Now I'm using Gross Beat inside Ableton 10. I mean, all the settings are here that you would expect that you see somebody else using in FL Studio. Everything, it's all here. Yes, thank you. Yes, you can now use Grossbeat inside of Ableton. It was that easy and it cost you 13 bucks, that's it. 13 bucks, easy, easy 13 bucks. 
Um, this actually works inside machine too. Um, I can verify that. I'm gonna make another video about it. Um, I guess just in case anybody's using machine, but it's it's really straightforward. I, I just don't understand. I've been doing lots of research and I, I purchased um, Cable Guys Halftime, which is really, I mean, that's really good. I, I have their, um, the whole like shaper box and it's really awesome, but everybody's posting these videos like trying to find workarounds. And the reality of it is, is that, uh, yeah, this $13 I spent was, I don't know, a good investment and you don't really need a workaround or another BSD because you could just use Grossbeat inside of Ableton with no problem whatsoever along with the, the other options here like Edison. I mean, all this stuff opens up, not a big deal. Now you're gonna see this back here they do have options. So, I mean, the idea is this JBridge M is running in the background, like helping you run these VSTs. So I haven't had to click any of these boxes because it's, it's for plugin settings. I, I just, they're standard. This is the way they popped up and everything's been running really good. So yeah, so that's it. All the links are below and go have fun. Go play around with Grossbeat. Mac users rejoice. Mac users who are using Ableton. Ableton 10 is awesome. And now you can just use Grossbeat, like no problem. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what I'm sharing with you, hit, hit that subscribe button. It gives me a little bit motivation to keep going and putting the time into making these videos because it's fun, but it takes time. So yeah, have a nice day.